Peace to the world. This is our powder room. And our powder room has been needing some TLC makeover magic for, well, the entire time that we've lived in this house. So I've actually been working on it for a few days. So, so far, uh, there's a mirror here, as you can see, and I took it off the wall and there's a great big hole in the wall where there used to be a medicine cabinet. So I patched that, not very exciting to show, so I'm not gonna show you that. Here on the north side of the house, in our passive solar home, there was a window just like that, but on the inside of the house. So I took that out, put drywall where all the pegboard was. I do have a before picture, so I'll throw that up here. Um, and I patched this all in, and we're gonna replace the window, have the whole house done. Uh, so that'll happen later. We were not going to take out this vanity, but this as you can see, I mean, it's, this is a tight room. The, the previous owners put this massive vanity in, so we're going to take this out, shrink it up, so as you open the door and come in, it's not as tight. The shower situation, it does come in handy, so we're just going to leave it for now. It's not our ideal shower in this power room, which is, I guess, technically a bathroom now. I'm going to come up with something creative to do with the walls to make it a little more cozy. The other thing that we're not going to do today uh, are the floors, because the floors run throughout the entire uh, downstairs, and it's kind of dated tile, but it's in good shape. But I am going to take off the uh, tile from the around the base of the walls, the baseboard tile things, and put just traditional baseboard to kind of cozy it up. Um, so, anyways, this is the before. And I'm not going to walk you through how I do all of these um, little improvements. Uh, that's not what I do. So if I do anything that you are curious about, well, you know what, just YouTube it from a professional to learn how to do it because I do it my own way. I watch a lot of other tutorial videos. I'm just going to take you along for the ride. I'm going to show you the before, the during, and the after. And let's see what we transform this really tight dingy powder room into. Let's go. I think the next step might be to uh, get the beadboard up. That's uh, gonna be a challenge. We don't really know how high up the wall we wanna come. I love the idea of going higher. That just creates a, an issue going around the window. I don't want to do a lot of trim, I want to keep it nice and clean, so we might be coming just below the window. I don't know. We'll see. Thank you to Solid Gold for sponsoring this video and supporting our channel. Solid Gold was the first holistic pet food company in America, which started in 1974 by Sissy McGill, who was a trailblazer and pioneer because she disrupted a male-dominated industry and created the first natural pet food before it was the cool thing to do. Their nutritional platform is inspired by their family belief that high-quality food is the best way to impact our pet's mind, body, and spirit. And for over 45 years, they have revolutionized the holistic pet food category and they have a recipe for any dog or cat's dietary needs including dogs who need whole grain or grain free or wet food or supplements like sea meal or 100% human grade bone broth for dogs. Solid Gold's foods are different because they cleanse the digestive system with whole superfoods balanced with living probiotics and fueled with omega-3 and 6 fatty acids supporting gut health and nourishing your pet inside and out. So right now Solid Gold is offering our viewers 30% off select Solid Gold products. Go to solidgoldpet.com slash matte and blue. That's solidgoldpet.com slash matte and blue to save 30% on select solid gold products.
I'm trying to make me engage. This video is supposed to be a visual journey of our powder room before and after. But what's happening right now? So there's this, I took such a large dump I can't get off my toilet bar right here. It's like, oh, I gotta pull myself up. And I don't know why it's here. Whoever put this in, stripped that screw and these three, two, uh, three screws down here. So I'm going to use the grinder to grind them off. We tried using like Inch all the tricks like online that you find about removing strip screws or like rubber, bands, rubber bands, but nothing was getting it out. You tried using the oscillating tool or the little blade, that didn't get it off. No. So now you're like extreme measures. It doesn't shut off when it, like it flies out of your hand, it keeps going. It's not like a, watch. There is no, uh, there is no like release button. So if you drop it, like it's. This sounds really safe. I can't wait to be in this tight space with you and that no. tool. You ready? I'm starting no. here. No, I'm not ready. Um, oh my gosh, let's please not lose up. There's been some disagreement about the height of the B board. Ooh, that there's a stud right there. Although, actually not disagreement about where it should be, but it's about how to gauge the placement of the mirror with the B board and the trim and this window and so we decided we're gonna hang the mirror. We are trying to figure out what one that's gonna look the best, but the second part of it is what's gonna be the easiest. So like we're trying to weigh the options. We want it to be higher, but the mirror being the size it is, it's gonna overlap the beadboard and we're trying to avoid that. because uh, we're gonna have a nice trim that goes around along the top of the beadboard, which is going to impede the mirror's space. And then we're try we were trying to avoid having to deal with the window, so we we're gonna try and keep it below. But then we just thought it's gonna look nicer if the beadboard's higher. But then what do you do with the beadboard on that? Exactly. Edge right there. What do I do with the beadboard? Tape it. Pretend like it doesn't exist. Could it just be caught? Can you cock it nicely? You could. Uh, I could even mud it. And like, you know, it just depends on how nice we cut that U-shape out of the beadboard. Or do they make like bull nose trim? They do, they make all kinds of trim. I mean, we could probably rip something on the table saw, but if it's done poorly, then it's gonna be really obvious. I'm just not comfortable with you filming here. Either. I'm all the shoulders up. Sure. I mean, it was wider earlier. You might as well get some titty in there if you're gonna- I got titty right now. The question is, this is Level. But the lower I mean, it's level as... Although our faucet too is kind of tall. Yeah, no, it's got to go up. But it's level. It's so it's just, just so about high. high. Like, it doesn't seem that high at all. I feel like Crow's not going to ever be able to see this. I don't know if I love this mirror. All or my mom. Long. It's... It looks like that short. to get it oh, it just it's not good for my you have to let it go to the eye no one in a gazillion million years would ever it's not about to my eye it's about I understand what this means for the next phase and then your trim is going to be crooked 
you know? And so that's gonna be a whole other fight. And then down here, there's this massive gap in the corner because both of these boards are... That's not massive. I can fit my whole finger in there. trimming, but as we were cleaning up, we lost power. So that's neat, but that's okay because this is all up and now I can start painting. Unfortunately, it's daytime, so I should be able to get some painting done in this light. No. What do you mean no? I can cut in in this light. You're not painting in the dark. This is too dark. I'm, not, I'm just cutting in, I can cut in in this. No, this drips, you don't see drips? No. no. Listen, I've spent way too much time That's always what you being said. a perfectionist on this. You are not gonna slop up paint in the dark. You out of your mind. There you is, married the wrong man for that. There is enough light. Hey, look what you're doing. You're backing me into a corner. I'm gonna back Dallas into a corner. I feel good about it so far though, do you feel good? Yeah, I think it, I'm super stoked about it. I think it looks great. But I think it might be like the universe telling us, take a break. I can't wait for this booger baby diarrhea paint to be off. That's the thing, I want it to be done Ugh. so bad. I, just I like can't it wait. And it's so close to being gone. <sighs> Do you want to compliment me though? About how great a job you did? Yeah. Beautiful, bro. Beautiful work. Thank you very much. This charcoal color, black herring, is very challenging. Well, it's new paint. Uh, we need to get the other lights back up so we don't have to listen to this fan. Oh, please, I'm so tired of listening to this fan. It's been two days straight of listening to this fan. I think I'm just gonna disconnect it. This is our next project right here. It will be the window sill. And it should be interesting. What do you mean it should be interesting? Well, because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like, match it and just make it Make it sit where it needs to sit on the sides for it to actually look good. I mean, already I can see this side is higher than the other. So, that's what makes it interesting if you really want to know. I see, I see, I see. Alright, so the lighting fixture in the bathroom is old. Uh, kind of like a 70s vibe, I think, which I've always been a fan of, Matt, as well. Uh, and we don't want to replace it. It was recommended a few years ago in one of our other houses that you always uh, should swap out the lighting um, to increase the value of your house. Like updated lighting, updated fixtures, right? Well, we strongly disagree with that. We like old vintage lighting, so we're going to keep this. And... Uh, I'm just going to spruce it up a little bit. I'm going to I'm going to put on some new chains. These are a little rusty. Uh, we're going to clean it up a little bit. So this is the, the before. Oh my gosh. Yes. I'll take a cheers to that. Finally. This bathroom was like, this project took so much longer. It started with, it started with blue was just going to, do this window. He just came in here and he's like, I'm gonna get this window done. And then it turned into, well, since we're already tearing it apart, why, we should replace the vanity. The vanity's too big, let's replace the vanity. And then from, well, we're gonna replace the vanity, like, let's do some fun beatboard. Okay, and then that turned into like, and then now the entire. And with the, well, the walls in general, I think that we just kind of thought, all right, we'll just paint them. But as we got into it, 
there was so much damage to the walls yeah. and just bad just bad painting, bad nail holes that weren't patched properly. And it's just, uh, we, we're not even done. Do you realize that? We decided the, to redo the, it. The, yeah, replace the door. And now the door is the both the new and the old door is sitting in the garage. It still needs to be done. And what good is a bathroom without a door? Give me a double clap. There's still a few things that need to be done. We haven't even styled it yet. Things are in place. But we still gotta like hang a little picture or like style and make oh, it cute. I love how the lights turned out though. I like the lights cleaned up so well. You did a really good job of cleaning them up. You replaced the chain, cleaned up the hardware. They really they cleaned up really beautifully. They're my favorite part of the bathroom. And they were already here. The vintage. I don't know. My favorite part of the bathroom was definitely the beadboard. You're obsessed with it now. You're doing, you have beadboard fever. You want to put it in. <laughs> you want to put it in every single room of the house. And the window looks so good. Yeah, it'll look even better when we get our windows replaced. Yes. Which will be happening soon, hopefully. Well. New windows. You got at least eight weeks. Eight weeks. Yeah. Hello, have you heard of COVID? <sighs> Everything is delayed. Look at the, we have to look at this janky window for eight weeks. That's what I was talking about. We should have cleaned it up before we put the the wood in there. That's true. Curse the ah, Okay. There's a little Cutting. personality. Yeah, see? A trash can. Which fits in here so much better now. We need plant of some sort, some flowers Ooh. maybe. I'll, I'll take care of the plants. You're a plant guy, so I'll take this. I'm doing You have to do both. Okay. Stop it's, being so controlling. It's easier. Stop being so controlling. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one is going to go over here. This took us how many days? A week? Probably. When did we start this project? Wait, wait. I mean, I started the window a long time ago. It probably took us like seven days, right? Yeah. So this project took us seven days. A handful of the, probably about half of those days were like more, not morning, but like full days of work, right? And I feel like we should just acknowledge that awesome. We crushed it and it looks good. <laughs> And this is what happens when you have teamwork. Now I can be sexy in my sexy pose, but you know this mirror is smaller, so there's less sexiness to have. Sexy, 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 sexy. Yeah, sexy, sexy. Look at the bed has on both of us, because neither of us has showered. I showered. Your hair would beg to differ. No, I showered. I've just been wearing a hat all day. I've had hair. You have bed head, and you also have really stinky BO. I heard so. I thought it was your breath earlier, and then I thought it was my mom. No, I did stink. You're a little stinky. What? When I was up here doing the light, and you were holding the flashlight. All right, y'all, before we go, picture above the toilet. What do you guys think it should be? Dark Lady? That is an original Billboard magazine page, by the way. Where'd you get this? Uh, my friend Suki. That's cool. Oh. Option two? Matt, what is this? It's just one of those pictures that I remember being around since I was a kid that my grandparents gave to us. And option three? Our girl named Sarah. This is my favorite, but Blue did have a good point that might get ruined by the moisture in the room. Some showers in here. And I just like that she hangs where well, she was before we did the guest room. I kind of love that she hangs in the guest room because when people come over and stay, they always get creeped out by her. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do you guys think? Share, Sarah, or Cowboys? <laughs>